I know you're very proud of your Samoan heritage. Was it always the All Blacks? Was there ever a kind of a moment? Well, growing up, you know, primary school, I, I always wanted to play for Samoa. But it wasn't until, you know, the likes of when John Olomu came and I was like, man, you know, and then you get entrenched into the country because you go to all boys school at college and um, you're playing against different schools who are rivals and you can do the school haka against the other side and, and then all Blacks is the team. You know, 1995, I was year nine and, you know, Jonah was the guy and everyone at school was talking about him. He drove that dream for all of us to try and make it all back. You were very close with Jonah, weren't you? He actually looked, lived up the hill from when he, when he came to Wellington to play for the Hurricanes. Now, when I made the Hurricanes, um, I was actually driving my father's van, you know, to training because we, we trained out in the hut it's about 30 minutes away. One day he goes, oh, who's, you know, who's rides out? I said, it's my dad's. And he's like, oh, okay. So then the next day he came to my house. He's like, oh, I'll jump in. I need a ride to the airport. I dropped them off to the airport and I said, oh, what do I do with the car? He goes, oh, I'll just use it for the weekend. I said, oh, okay. And I had it for nine months. <laughs> That's kind of uh, quite a cultural thing as well with, with, with you guys in terms of, you know, because when I said earlier, you're, you're probably one of the most generous people I've, I've met. If It's fair to say that if somebody wants something from you, they, they can have it, isn't it? I think it's more, um, you know, family orientated. You, you tend to look after... Um, each other in terms of that aspect, you know, when especially you're in a team, if someone needs to borrow something, you know, you, you go, yeah, you can use mine. If you look at things material, um, materialistically, you, you know, nothing lasts really. What lasts is the friendship and, and the love you have for your brothers and your mates. Because you did tell me that um, when you came back to, um, I can't remember whether it was you flew back to New Zealand or Samoa, you, 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 your, your dad picked you up and he used to take you all the way around the long way around, past all the houses of all the other players. And he'd be like, oh, so-and-so's dad, uh, so-and-so's son's bought that, built that for their dad. And you would be like, oh, dad, every time. Is that, is that true? When I made the, the, the World Cup in 2003, we were still living in a state house and... Um, my brothers had moved out and I was still in there. The World Cup was in Australia. So when we lost in the semi-final, there was a group of us that stayed an extra week to watch the final. Obviously, we went home after the Cup. But I got home and then I got a call from a real estate agent. And she's like, hi, I'm uh, Maria from, you know, from Eve. So my dad had actually got a house and said, oh, my dad, my son's going to pay for it. <laughs> so then we moved into the house like a month later. So that's how it goes, you know.